We're asked to determine which of the following statements are true. We want to check the true statements. First we have b equals 10 is a solution to the given equation. If b equals 10 is a solution, then it would satisfy the equation, meaning if we substitute 10 for b, the left side of the equation must equal the right side. If it doesn't, then the statement is false. So we'll substitute 10 for b, so we have one-fifth b, which would be one-fifth times 10, plus four equals two b, which would be two times 10, minus 14. And now we'll simplify the left side and right side using the order of operations to see if this is true or false. Looking at the left side, we have one-fifth times 10, or if we want 10 over one, notice how we can simplify here. There's one five and five, and two fives and 10. So this product is two, so we have two plus four equals, this product is 20, so we have 20 minus 14. Well, two plus four is equal to six. 20 minus 14 is also equal to six. And since six equals six, this is true. And therefore, the statement is true, meaning b equals 10 is a solution to the equation. Our next statement is m equals 13 is a solution to this equation. To see if this is true, we'll now substitute 13 for m. So if we substitute 13 for m, we'd have the quantity 13 minus one minus the quantity negative three times 13 plus 51 equals 102. Again, we substituted 13 for m here and here. And now we'll simplify the left side using the order of operations. So we simplify inside the parentheses first. So 13 minus one is 12 minus the quantity. Here we multiply first. Negative three times 13 is equal to negative 39. So we have negative 39 plus 51. Still simplifying inside the parentheses here. Negative 39 plus 51 is equal to 12. So we have 12 minus 12 equals 102. Well, 12 minus 12 is equal to zero. Zero doesn't equal 102, which means m equals 13 is not a solution to this equation, and therefore the statement is false, so we don't check it. Our next statement is z equals negative four is a solution to this equation. So to see if it is true, we'll substitute negative four for z. So we'd have 12, times the quantity negative five z, or negative five times negative four, plus three, equals six times the quantity negative four z, or negative four times negative four, plus 30. Now we'll simplify each side. We'll simplify inside the parentheses first. We'll multiply before adding, so we have 12 times, negative five times negative four is positive 20. So we have 20 plus three, and then we have six times the quantity, negative four times negative four is positive 16 plus 30. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, we have 12 times, that'd be 23, equals six times 16 plus 30 is equal to 46. Well, 12 times 23 is equal to 276, and six times 46 is also equal to 276. So because this is true, this tells us that z equals negative four is a solution to the equation, and therefore the statement is true. And now for the last statement, we have d equals negative 12 is a solution to the given equation. So again, to see if this is true, we'll substitute negative 12 for d and see if it satisfies the equation. So we have eight d, which would be eight times negative 12 plus six equals negative eight d, which would be negative eight times negative 12 minus 186. Well, eight times negative 12 is equal to negative 96. So we have negative 96 plus six equals, here we have negative eight times negative 12, that's positive 96 minus 186. So on the left side we have negative 96 plus six, that's negative 90 equals, on the right side we have 96 minus 186, which is also negative 90. So because this is true, d equals negative 12 is a solution to the given equation, and therefore the statement is true. I hope you found this helpful.